Two teams remain top of the table over in the Saudi Pro League, of course, with Halal leading the charge from Tawoon, of course. Who will be there after the international break? We're going to take a little look next. <laughs> Video today, we're taking a look at match number six, of course, over in the Saudi Pro League, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang to all things Saudi Pro League related, Blabber Rovers related, world football related. We got it all here, boys. Under one Ruski, that's right, of course, it is the international break, and of course, following on from that break, we'll be taking a look at, of course, match day number six, of course, and we'll get to that in a second, of course, big shout out to the VIPs, you know who you are, we're talking about, of course, the patrons, that's right, um, so let's get into the deep end, of course, have a look at what went on last time around, of course, and then kick on forward to the following uh, matches, so let's uh, jump in the deep end right here, right now, and have a look at what we're talking about, of course, let's talk about the results from match day number five, and here they are, my picks on the left, the real deal on on the right so let's take a look at it fire with the uh new new draw gets right uh of course fire up to seventh i think right now eighth in the table eighth in the table meanwhile tie with the one that went over abba uh, of course get themselves moving in the right direction not good for me so far uh abdul of course picking up a one nil away day win over riyadh uh with ithiad losing a seven goal thriller to halal a champions going down here uh four three in the end to halal i went three two the other way meanwhile kalish three one win over shabab again i went the other way got that one wrong damash though did lose to a fact 3-1 got that one spot on the nose fatty with a big 5-1 win over ali of course who take a tumble uh now down to fourth in the table wow wow we won me when i see a 5-1 demolition job of hazim not too shabby and talwoon 4-1 win over wader uh in the end so i don't know what did i get there one two maybe three three uh yeah three pretty grim times we're not gonna look at the prediction league right here right now for this week because i'm actually on the on the brink of hitting the road so we don't have much time uh, to do that so don't worry i will bring you a bang up to date when i get back for the following match day it's just uh it's a little bit complicated to get these ready and i'm on a timer right here right now but the table looks like this right here right now halal top the table there was Talwoon not too far with Etiat ali and then of course nasir starting to squeeze up there alongside stevie g's boys that is of course et fact that's right so those are the tables that is the link for this for the prediction it will continue there will be the stuff there it's just i cannot get into that it does take me about 25 minutes to calculate the numbers so i don't really want to waste the time right because i've got to hit the road and i've got about 50 bazillion videos to do so here we go looking forward to the next round of games which do take place again following on from the international break which i believe will be the 14th to the 16th these games we're going to start with Akdu. no we're not we're, we're going to start right here it is abba up against atafak of course and that actually takes place um where are we keith where are we keith i'm trying to find you here i'm blind is it there there it is it's actually on the 16th of september these two sides have played each other nine eight times since 2019 four wins for abba three wins for etafak of course we've got one draw at the moment uh two one win the biggest win for abba of course the 12 goals scored in those eight games 1.50 goals game ratio up against of course uh stevie g's boys it's fact four one win their biggest score 15 goals in those eight games 1.88 goals game ratio they're on 75 percent form right now that is of course etafak uh, winning four of the last uh, uh, six in all competitions meanwhile abba uh two wins the last six games are in 10th with six points of the ball right now last round over in Abba was a 2-1 win that was back in May 2023 for the hosts and of course following in into this one attack with a 3-1 win over the match and uh, Ty did uh, beat Abba last round I do not have the odds on this one uh, so I'm going to go with my gut. And my gut says an away day win here 2-1 win for Atafak which of course keep, keeps Stevie G's boys in the mix for a title push right here right now next up we have Ali of course up against Altar Woon have been uh, a right old uh, breath of fresh air you would imagine that's actually probably the game of the week of course uh, we're looking at Ali who are in fourth in the table up against Tawoon who are in second uh, they've played each other 22 times since 2011 got eight wins for Ali five wins for Tawoon and nine draws Ali of course 5-1 win their biggest over uh, Tawoon 41 goals scored in 22 games 1.86 goals game ratio up against Tawoon their biggest win over their hosts of course 3-0 win 33 goals scored in the 22 Two games 1.50 goals game ratio tarwoon coming to this on 92 percent form that's winning four in the bounce they are in second 13 points on the board they actually level on on top there with ali You're taking the l last time around down to fourth with 12 points on the docket right here right now ali last time around at their place was a 1-1 draw that's back in february 2022 uh and of course heading into this badgerino i've got no odds so my odds is in my guts and my 501s my levi's and we're gonna go with a 3-1 win for the host here bounce back ability tarwoon taking the l on this one next up we have al 
Tout. I mean, it's Etihad, of course. That's coming at you on the 14th of September. I believe that might be a Friday. Uh, check your calendars. Never play each other, these two sides, according to my eyes. Actoud, of course, coming in. It's on 42% form. Just one win in five. They're on 40, uh, four, four points right now in 13th in the table. Up against Etihad, of course, the champions, of course, coming in. It's on the back of a loss. 67% form for them. Uh, 12 points on the board. Third in the table. Can they, of course, rise up the ladder? Of course, seven goal thriller was for Etihad last time around. 4-3 lost uh, at home, of course, against Halal with, of course, uh, Abdul picking up a 1-0 win over Riyadh to climb up the table to 14th. Once again, no odds right here right now. We're going to go with the gut. Guts as 2-0 win for the wayside. And, of course, they move back up potentially to number one spot as well. Next up, we have uh, Alfafa up against Shabab. That's right. That's coming at you this coming weekend. It's on the 15th of September over at the Al Majaj Sports City. Play each of the 10 times to 2017. Two for Fafa. Uh, I've got six for Shabab and two draws as well. Fire. 3-1 uh, win was their biggest. 12 goals scored in those 10 games. 1.20 goals a game ratio. Up against Shabab, their biggest win. 4-1 win. Scored 18 goals in those 10 games. 1.80 goals a game ratio. They're on 17% form right now. Just two points at the past uh, five games, of course. 17th in the table. Up against Fire. who are in eighth with six points on the docket right now. And of course, I just want to defeat the past six right here, right now. Last round over at the Al Majama Sports City. It was a 2-1 win for Shabab, who actually won four in the bounce against these bad boys. So they're fancy the chances, of course. Uh, but for me on this one, going to go with a 1-1 draw. Point split right down the middle. And of course, everybody happy with at least something uh, from this game. Next up, we have, what do we have? We have Khalij up against Al Fati. That's right. Let's take a little look at this badger on the 15th of September uh, at the Al Khalij Club Stadium. Played just eight times in 2014. One win for Khalij. We've got four wins for Fati. We've got three draws as well. Khalij on 4-2 win, their biggest win over uh, Fatih. Of course, eight goals scored uh, in those eight games, one goal a game ratio. Up against Fatih, of course, managed by Slavan Bilic. A toss to their 2 0 win was their biggest. 13 goals scored in those eight games, 1.63 goals a game ratio heading into this. They're in seventh right now. It's Fatih, of course, eight points on the board, 67% form for them right now. Just one defeat in the past six. Up against Khalij, 50% form for them, 1 2 loss to and drawn two over the last six. Last time around at this place, of course, it was a 2 1 win for Fatih. That was back in, of course, October 2022. And, of course, Fatih unbeaten the last three, uh, losing just once of the last six, according to my eyes, of course. Let's take a look at my gut here. My gut says on this one, going to go with a 1-0 win, surprise win for the host here. As, of course, Khalij take the win and Fatih take the L. Uh, we'll see about that on, uh, of course, match day. Let's get to the next one then, shall we? It is Wader. I mean, it's the match, of course. Probably you would think this was a, a, maybe a relegation crunch clash here. Uh, but Wader are doing a okay right here right now with George Donis at the helm. Of course, King taking place on the 14th of September, the King Abdulis Sports City Stadium. Uh, of course, Wader have uh, played that match nine times to 2017, picking up five wins, just one defeat and three draws. Of course, the biggest win for Wader, two no wins, scoring just 11 goals in those nine games, 1.22 goals game ratio. Up against, of course, the match, their win, their only win, against Wader since, uh, since 2017 was a 2 0 win. Scored six goals, though, in, of course, those nine games. 0.67 goals game ratio. The match are in trouble down there in the 16th spot. Three points of the board. 25% form for them right now. And those three points accumulated by three draws. So just one defeat past four, but the rest have been draws. Of course, Wader, though, uh, six points on the, on the board right now. Ninth in the table. 33% form for them. And, of course, last of the place over at the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium. It was a 2 0 win for the match. Oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious me. So we'll see if they can do a repeat on that one. So go with my gut. And this one going to go again with uh, my Rovers connection. That's a one 0 win for Wader. Uh, let's get to the next one then, shall we? What do we have? We have uh, Hazam, of course. They're going to be taking on uh, uh, Altai, of course. That's on Sunday, September the 16th. Now, these two sides have played each other 10 times in 2015. Three for Hazam, five for Tai, and two draws as well. The biggest win for Hazam, 3 1 win, scoring 15 goals in those 10 games, 1.50 goals game ratio. I mean, it's Tai there, 50% form for them right now, winning three and losing three. Their biggest win over Hazam was a 3 0 win, scoring 17 goals in those 10 games, 1.70 goals game ratio. Of course, last time around at the old Hazam Club Stadium, it was a 1 0 win for Tai, who actually uh, back to back wins over Hazam, of course, both home and away, so looking good to play them. Uh, again, go with my gut on this one. It's a very tricky one, this one. Can't, hard to call. Going to go with a nil-nil draw here. Point split right in the middle as, of course, Tyre in 11th with six points. We've got Hazam in uh, 18th on two points, uh, but they are home uh, so a bit of advantage on that one. Next up, we have this one. It is Halal against Riyadh. That's right, coming at you on the 15th of September. The King Fight International Stadium. And, of course, these two sides never playing each other. Halal, of course, top of the pops right here, right now. They're, of course, 13 points on the board. Uh, winning four of the last five. 75% form for them over the last six. Riyadh are in trouble a little bit. Down 15th spot right now. Four points on the board. Three defeats on the spin. On 33% form for them heading into this. Last round, though, Riyadh picked up a 1-0 win over Abdul. It's actually been three games now without a goal. Up against Halal now. Uh, 
of course, that seven goal thriller last time around against Itty the champions before that, beating Stevie G's boys 2 0 as well. So they've played some big boys already and they look the real bloody deal. So I'm going to go with them on this one. 3 1 win. Again, got no bookies odds on that one. Into the final one, I think, if my mathematics is pretty good. It's Raid against Nasir. Of course, Ronaldo's boys played each other 25 times since 2011. We've got one win for Raid. We've got three draws and 21 wins with the visitors. That's Al Nasir. Of course, Nasir's biggest win over their host 5 0 win. Of course, scoring 69 goals in the 25 games. 2.76 goals a game ratio. They're on 67% form right now, winning four in the bouts there. On the surge, uh, six in the table, they're just nine points on the board. Up against Raid, of course, unbeaten in the last two games. Their biggest win over Nasir, 2-1 win, scoring 15 goals in the 25 games, 0.6 goals against ratio. Uh, of course, 25% form there, 14th at the table, four points on the board. Last time around, though, at the Al Raid, at the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium, it was a 4-1 win for Nasir. That's back in December 2022. Uh, so we've got a back, of course, Ronaldo's boys here. Surely, 3-0 win, comfortably done, and another three points in the bag and i think that's just about it guys and there you go quick look at it uh, and of course if you i think that's right uh yes it is and of course if you wanna well that's what the table will look like as well if i'm spot on the nose uh hello top table with the etihad up there in second spot and of course nasty making a surge up to six and the bloody table remaining in six it looks like anyway that's of course mine don't forget yours as well cut before society pro it is free and of course get your name in nice and i'll bring you bang up today when i come back from me travels that's it guys subscribe thumbs up hit the little bell i'll see you soon for the next one